Zero Project Conference 2023, Inclusive Design Homes. In the session Inclusive Design Homes, we had the opportunity to know more about different experiences and amazing projects where innovative technology and accessibility can be combined to find solutions for people with disabilities in their homes. Universal Design and Smart Home Design presented by Camilla Rill, Research Director at Bevica Foundation. The Bevica Foundation in Denmark is committed to facilitating independence and equal opportunities for people with mobility impairments. A key strategic focus for this is the dissemination of universal design. The foundation has established its own universal design hub, supports startup projects and innovations, and has built an interdisciplinary research network that includes 32 members from nine different universities, polytechnics, and design schools in Denmark. I believe that universal design uh, contributes to the architecture of inclusive homes by being first and foremost a means to talk about being human, what it means to be human, that the, the one thing we all share as human beings is that we all live with different and changing abilities throughout a lifetime. And universal design is a means to talk about this. I think it's necessary to talk about universal design as an interdisciplinary tool in order to solve the real problems that we all face when we are trying to design a, a, an environment, a society that is inclusive for all. The problems are complex and they need to be solved interdisciplinary. Keystone Human Services presented by Greg Wellams, Vice President Operations. Keystone Human Services from the USA launched a project in 2018 that supports people with intellectual disabilities in their everyday lives. It combines easily available technologies such as Alexa with specific tools to achieve individual goals, from cooking independently to staying overnight without paid staff. Keystone Human Services supports individuals with intellectual disabilities, mental health concerns, we do that through a state process where individuals are referred to Keystone Human Services. Then through the person-centered planning approach, we'll work through those individuals, their families, various stakeholders involving community members, the medical community, any way that we can help them achieve their desired outcomes. Then, then we incorporate the available technology, whether it's assistive technology, enabling technology, remote supports, any way that we can help that person achieve those desired outcomes to be contributing members of their community. Smart Living by LAD, presented by Susan Brown Knight, CEO, and Brian Hart, COO. US-based living arrangements for the developmentally disabled, LAD, introduced Smart Living in 2017, which combines personal care with smart home technologies and virtual support. Smart Living aims to reduce the number of in-person staff required. By 2022, Smart Living has helped more than 50 people. What makes LAD's Smart Living system unique is that it is one of its only kind in the world that really combines software, hardware, and a staffing model to facilitate independent living in our communities. It also ensures that the data that is received from those technology devices allows us to not only react and intervene and support somebody, but prevent challenges before they arise. And how that improves care is that as we use technology to change the way we deliver services, by starting with the technology first mindset, the individuals that receive this care are actually more inclusive in their community and the community is more inclusive with them. Session summary by Lutres Marquez de la Calleja, Fundación Once. The key messages regarding inclusive design homes uh, were how important is the Article 19 of the UN Convention for People with Disabilities that states uh, and underline the link between uh, independent living and community living for people with disabilities and, uh, and also how uh, including subjects about IT technology accessibility uh, in the education uh, would be a, a leverage for the future to create uh, among all a better society leaving no one behind.